going up tonight? Um, no, this is going to be going up sometime in the future. I guess Sunday, but it could be pushed off to next week. Sometime in the future. Let me get my crystal ball out and see. Um, 2023 and, so, yeah. It's going to be within the next two months. That's for certain. I don't know. I have a lot of podcast guests let, 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 get lined up because I'm going on a vacation for the first, like, five days of July. Um, mm -hmm. Or, like, July, like, I don't know. I'm going for five days in, like, early July. And then at the yeah. end of July... Uh, I'm, I'm going to Florida, and, and then uh, at the beginning of August to the to like for like however long four or five days I'm going to Brickville. So okay. So by yeah, the way, it's, it's a lot I have to stockpile. So that's kind of why I oof. Okay. Yeah. What okay. Are, what's my name on that? What? Does it have a name? Nope. You don't, nope. You, you, that's cropped out. I just am focused on you. So like, don't move your chair too far to 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 the left. I guess. Um. Okay. So, okay. when you're ready, do the introduction. Hello everyone, it's the Lego Brits here, and you are watching the Republic Stud Show. And then, vroom, the whoosh, and then we are here. Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs. Welcome back to the Republic Stud Show, and today we have a very special guest. A very special, a guy... Um, very special, been... I love the fact that you emphasize that. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's very special. No, he's, a, he's very special. Uh, and he is also, uh, uh what, what do they call, call, call a loyalist, a British loyalist of some sort? Uh, I don't uh, know, we'll get I, into what, it. Uh, like, patriotic? <laughs> um, a, a traitor in, in America is what we call it. No, I'm just oh, right, okay, I see uh, how it is, I see how okay. it is. Okay, so, so the Lego Brit, um, welcome to the Republic Stud Show. Thank you very much for having me on. This is a very interesting thing. I love the fact that you took a jive at my Union Jack. I came on here to set up, and Republic Studs just told me we won't be needing that, but I made it very clear that the Union Jack, he's not going anywhere. I love the fact that you don't have an American flag, so there's only one flag here today. Folks, I have this just... Lego Star Wars flag. If you don't respect mm, yeah, the Lego Star uniting Wars flag, just leave. Uh, all right, so, so this is how I start every podcast. If anyone who's watched this show for any length of time knows... I want to know the backstory. How did you get started with Lego? How did you get started on Lego? When were you born? Like, how was the hot... Like, we, we go way back. <laughs> I, I want to start at the beginning with you. All right. Just talk. Tell tell us everything. Give us your full backstory. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, right. Um, the Lego Brit for life. Um, let's do that. So, um, I got into Lego when I was about seven, and my first Lego Star Wars set was the Imperial Death Star Gunner's Battle Pack. Pretty cool battle pack. Came with two um, royal guards and two um, like Death Star troopers or whatever. I thought it was really cool at the time, and I remember buying it from Sainsbury's. Those in the UK will know what that is. It's basically like Target um, in the US. And I looked at the back of the instruction manual, and at that moment, it was just like, "There's so many other things to collect. There's so many other kind of big sets." And at the time, my pocket money was so. My family had a system. My pocket money was very low because. Basically, I was naughty, and my family had a system. Depending on how good you were, you'd get 5p, uh, like, in a little marble. So every time you did something good, you'd get 5p going into your little marble Wait, 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 wait. Put, the, put this in, in American terms, because this is some British stuff I'm too American okay, to understand. Okay, right. Five cents. Five cents yeah. every time you do something, you know, good or whatever. And you put a little marble. This you put a little marble okay. into your pot. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh... Basically, it would add up, and my brother would come out and be like, yeah, I got, I suppose in your terms, $2.60, and that was a lot, that was a lot, uh, in, you know, my little seven-year-old eyes, and I'd be coming out in, uh, I owed you 50p, because, uh, or 50 cents, because I was that naughty, so my pocket money really didn't go anywhere, so I kind of relied on my birthdays and Christmases to kind of get my Lego collection up, and I started with little things. I bought the Duron Geonosis and the Mandalorian Speeder. That was my first kind of proper Lego haul. It was Toys R Us when that was still around. I remember going in there. Obviously, I was very young, so I don't really have that many memories, but I just remember coming out. I also remember having the choice between buying the Mandalorian Speeder and the box Speeder with Sidecar with Phase 2 Captain Rex. And, um, yeah, I don't know whether I made the right decision on getting the Darth Maul set, but here we are. I didn't get Phase 2 Rex. Are you talking about the Darth Maul speeder you got? 
Yeah, so that was the Mandalorian speeder from the Clone Wars. Yeah, I, I got I got that one too. I, back in the day, um, no no regrets there. My only regret is not picking up the Captain Rex uh, one. But I I didn't like the Clone Wars at the time. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't watch it. I always thought, oh, that that's kind of dumb. It just wasn't my thing. Uh, mm. I, I I was introduced to Star Wars when I was eight or so. Um, oh, nice. So that's why I started yeah. watching movies. I didn't like the prequels when they started. I thought they were too boring. Oh, complicated. controversial. Yeah, but like they were boring. Like, like I don't want to hear about trade disputes. And then Which I like the you originals. So, I, so I, I ultimately ended up liking the originals more. Um, so, so then you know, time goes on. I obviously go to appreciate the prequels more, and I think that's mm-hmm. what you see happening nowadays. Um, yeah. Uh, and kind of the I feel like the prequel hate was kind of like understandable at the time because the people who liked Star Wars back then they were expecting original trilogy style stuff, uh, and the the kids who are also the target they just couldn't understand it yet. Now yeah. the kids understand it, they kind of like it, uh, but the other people are still not like the, the Star Wars. I was having a debate um, the other day with my film studies teacher. So I've got two film studies teachers, and they were kind of sat there. One of them likes the prequels, and one of them doesn't. So funny watching the two of them kind of bat off. Like, who says hello there? Why would you say hello there to an alien cyborg? It's part of the comedic relief. Comedic relief. Like we need comedic relief in the Star Wars prequel trilogy, like Jar Jar Binks. Why do we need Jar Jar Binks in Star Wars? And basically, well, that's in that, that was hilarious. But there was supposed to be a, a stupid point because there was comedic relief all throughout the original trilogy. C three PO and R two D two were notoriously hated by people because they were comedic relief. yes like yes hello there star wars if that's where you're gonna attack star wars dialogue like that's that's not the area to attack star wars it's like the originals versus prequels if you're just gonna attack the franchise as a whole that's fine but like the dialogue sucks um, uh yeah star wars dialogue is questionable and a surprise to be sure so so you started so you started growing your your lego collection now i'm we're gonna zoom forward you have a youtube channel now um, I, I, I do. don't think you have, like, a TikTok or anything like that. You just have YouTube? No, I don't. Just YouTube and Instagram. Yeah. Um, so, with with YouTube, uh, what, what motivated you to, you to start a channel? How did you start it? Like, what did you watch before? Because usually pretty much everyone who does Lego YouTube watched Lego YouTube at some point in yeah. time. <laughs> Except for the first so, time to do it. You gotta find um, time. Yeah, it was in lockdown in 2020, and I had this kind of... You can look back in some of my older videos, um, and you'll be able to see that I had a much smaller Lego collection than I did now. They were mostly set from like 2015, 16, that time, because that was when I was really into Lego. I had a little bit of a dark age in 2018. I missed out on almost every solo or Star Wars story set, and just kind of went downhill from there. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. I didn't then, get much solo. Sorry? I didn't, I didn't yeah, get much solo. Cool. I only have, like, Han Speeder. And the yeah, I've got with, that one. I, I, it's Han Speeder, and I have the one with... Uh, the lady who has red hair, but they didn't give her a face print. Tobias Beckett. Yes. That, those are the only yeah. solo sets. I got none of the other ones. Yeah. Well, anyway, I missed out on those sets, and it came to lockdown 2020, and I just thought, you know, I need something to do. And I think that's kind of a lot of where the LEGO community started to grow again. So I thought my first project, really, was looking at my LEGO collection going, there's a whole bunch of sets with missing pieces. Like, I remember my jewel on Geonosis was missing, like, all the pieces on the top because I'd taken them apart when I was younger. So I went to BrickLink and just kind of bulk ordered every single piece that I needed for my Lego collection. That was quite exciting, kind of rebuilding them, re-experiencing the magic of like Yoda and Count Dooku coming together again. You know, that was quite exciting. Then I started wondering, you know, what's next for Lego Star Wars? I was looking on Lego.com and I think I was looking at new Lego Star Wars or something like that when I came across the Battle of the Legend Ryan or MR Productions. And uh, I know he's kind of controversial in the Lego community. And I don't agree with everything he says, but to me, he is, I suppose, you could pinpoint him as the moment that I got into Lego YouTube as such, because I watched his videos, and at the time I didn't even have a YouTube app. That's how, like, uncultured I was with YouTube. And I remember I'd go on Safari and, uh, like, refresh his videos at Boomer. 6 p.m. That's like a boomer yeah. thing. Boomer thing. Yes, yes. I went to Safari, and I was, like, pressing refresh at, like, 6 p.m. UK time, because I was I was a dedicated subscriber with notifications on. I couldn't even subscribe because I didn't even have a Google account. So I was just refreshing on Safari, and I realized, you, don't, you know what? You know what that doesn't count as views? Like, when people watch on Safari? Like, there's a solid shot people are watching this, and, the, like, like, and they aren't, have never communicated in the comment section, but they've watched yeah. like, all of your my videos. And I never thought yeah. about that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. Yeah, I suppose so. 
Um, so I just got into Lego YouTube from there. I got my Google account and I set it up. And weirdly enough, I had just gone out of the shower. That's probably too much information, really. Um, <laughs> I started to dry my hair. YouTube, please don't take this down. And I just thought the Lego brick. It was like, what, being, what, you know, why I, they I take it down. I don't know, shower, he well, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> just thought, ping. Okay. yeah, I know. The okay. Lego Brit, and that's just where it started for me. So I started, I, I put together a little YouTube account, and that was kind of it. I said to myself on the first day, day one, which was, I remember correctly, 7th of October 2020, that was my first day of doing it, and I said to myself, I'm not going to do a YouTube, I just want to watch. 8th of October 2020, I uploaded my first video. So, <laughs> what was that um, about? that's kind of how it got started. No, what was your first video about? My first video was, um, you can watch it, of course, but I, it's in my recent, like, I did a video for 5,000 subscribers. I don't know if you saw that one. But basically, it starts with, hello, everyone, it's the Lego Brick here. And I sound like I'm 10 years old, even though I was older. And I'm, everyone I'm, seems watching, to think I'm not a teenager. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. watching your, uh, I, I, I could tell, by the way, I was watching this recent video you did. It. You have recently had 5,000 subscribers. Big whoop. Uh, very exciting. Yeah, I, I know. Believe me, I know that 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 first the first one thousand. Those are the killers. Everything yeah. after that's a little easier. Um, mm -hmm. and, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But I was watching it. And I'm like, that is a distinctly red bricks edit. Like I could Which tell, one? Uh, the the, the recent five thousand subscribers special. Like I no, no, really, no. Red bricks didn't edit I, that. Okay, right, right. So. I uh, put an advert on my Instagram and I said to everyone, basically, I, I probably saw it, I said, like, basically, I need help because I'm in the middle of exams, which I've finished today, which is great, because I've had absolutely no time. I, I needed a montage. I didn't think, because I got, like, a few viral short videos and they kind of got me over the mark. I didn't expect that, really. Um, and I was like, I need someone to edit. So I messaged Mr. Red British Productions. I said, are you interested? He said, no. So I was like, uh, That's enough. yeah, well, no. I am very, very difficult to please. Like, you, on a comparison, you probably think you're picky with your editing. I am extreme. So I got this guy. Well, um, I think you're extreme for what you... <laughs> Never mind. I, I am... Let me give you some examples. So I've got this guy called Adam Hill, um, met him Instagram, and he edited it for me. Um, I kind of gave him the vision that I wanted for it. And he sent me, I think, five drafts, and I sent every single one of them back. By the end, I was saying... No, 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 you need to change the font of the text. No, there's an extra space between this. Did you no, you quit? need to capitalize. No, listen, you need to capitalize the Y and T in YouTube. Uh, oh. That is how particular I am with my edits. So when you watch my videos, you will do know you that they've edit been. Your videos? I edit all my videos. Uh, I did have someone editing for me a while back, but all my modern videos I've just edited myself. Okay. Um, I couldn't do this one because obviously I was in exam week. Yeah. I, I was in exam week, but I, I guess I managed to do it every day. <laughs> it's prioritizing, and I guess if it doesn't like fit in your schedule, then I totally get it. Um, yeah. And, and I, I kind of wanted to talk about that because I've been you, you and I are in a very similar situation because we're I, I don't know you're like fifteen. Um. Well, I won't disclose that, but that's a very very okay. close. Okay. Estimate. No. No. So 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 you're, <laughs> you're we're, we're both people, which is. Yeah. Keen fan of Lego. I'll tell you that we're a very similar age, if not the yeah. same. So, carry on. Um, so I, I find it interesting because you're in the YouTube space. You're working with a lot of people who are adults. Um, mm -hmm. and, and you know, this, this some of them do it full time, some of them do it part time. Uh, but we're dealing with a lot of adults who you know either went to college or you know have spent a lot of time learning to edit as their job or stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and here we are, effectively high school students. Or I, I'm yeah. assuming you're in high school. The Amer the were, you, were you about to suggest uh, what were you i'd like you to say that to every single person uh, what is the one between what were you gonna say is that no, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going student. to assume you're not in, in like elementary school i'm gonna take that assumption funnily enough yes i am in high school okay. dear me <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Why does everyone think this? Why does everyone think I'm like elementary school or middle school? Why does everyone have this assumption of me? I, I don't know. I don't have that don't assumption know. of you. I was you just you were very around... close. It's funny because I get I get like this thing. So people either think I am a college like a college age person or I am like a middle school age person, and there's no in between. Like like people don't yeah. they're like Jocko, really you're in high school? Yeah, it, it's weird, but, but I don't understand people sometimes. I 
either yeah. way, um, it, it, it get, it's interesting because you know you have five thousand. You're you're a growing channel. Um, and and just doing that while interacting, you know, and like having to do all your stuff school wise. And I want to talk about that also because I've seen you do like trading with people in your school. Um, yes, yes, that's fun. Uh, way bolder than me. Um, but we'll yeah. get into that too. Um, but like, how do you kind of like feel about that? Like, you know, being like, I guess younger in this space, like making content for people and that sort of stuff. Yeah, of course. So, um, obviously, when I got into the Lego YouTube space, I knew that if I was going to want to properly pursue this, which I think at this moment I do, uh, that may change in the future. But at the moment, I'm loving it. I love this community, and whether it kind of the channel kind of explodes. I know your your one is hugely growing, and I remember when you were kind of at my stage, and obviously the big dream is to kind of get to the point where you are now and then forward. Um, but I'm aware that obviously being younger, it's you get a little bit of a late start to it. Because they've all been going. I think we get an early start. No, well, yes, but like the <laughs> actual. We have more time to build up our brand. Yeah, but true, but but they've got like, it's the fact that they've been doing it for a longer time. As you say, they've got live experience, and also, set wise, the actual content that they can make, I think, is more interesting because they've got stuff like Clone Wars era, which obviously was a little bit before. I mean, I mentioned I was kind. Of, I got into Lego right at the tail end of that, and they all retired literally like the year I got into Lego when I was about seven. So that's just kind of out of my time. Um, but obviously being in the community with a lot of adults, I don't find it intimidating at all. I just put myself forward. My audience is primarily teen foals. I mean, I know a foals that watch my videos as well. Um, I think there's probably about 20%, if I have to take an estimate, that are a foals, which is great to see. Uh, but I just want to appeal more to people that are my age, that are kind of going through this stage. Most of them have Lego channels themselves. However, I know that some of them don't. But I just want to kind of be that person that's, they're doing it with everyone else, doing that journey and saying, look, if I can get, say, 5,000 subscribers in less than two years, you can too, and all you need to do is turn on your camera. And that's kind of what I want to go with. Yeah, like, uh, I I'd say most of my subscribers, according to our recent, like, survey I did, uh, 17 to 40, or no, 17 to 25 was, like, the main demographic. And then a, a little under that was, uh, what was it, uh, 16 to 13? And like mm -hmm. percent was under that um so so uh, i i used to play a little more with younger audiences when i was starting but you know as i've gotten older i think my audience has also gotten older from back then and as well as the new people that are coming on also yeah on the same age um which is so so i, I want to lead into this because you and i handle um our lives in regards to youtube very differently like i i'm i try to keep it somewhat private like i don't go around <laughs> uh from, from what i understand with you it's it, it's it, it, like all your friends at school or whatever watch your videos or like that sort of stuff I, yeah I have a few close friends that watch but other than that so, so let's explain so, like, how you are getting people at your school to trade lego with you this this, this i want to okay. get this is a fun story for okay. people. right so this is a fun story sit tight grab popcorn because i'm gonna be going for probably a long time so um, I try to keep my YouTube channel a secret, very much like everyone in the Lego space probably did to begin with, because even, because I'm in that age where everyone's kind of either gotten out of Lego or they were never into it at this point, and, you know, people are more interested in, to be quite frank, girls. Um, so, <laughs> so obviously, uh, if, if they're all doing that and I've got, like, my Lego YouTube channel, I was a little bit, I suppose, embarrassed. Uh, I remember telling someone, and it was in lockdown, that um, someone sent me a message on like a Microsoft Teams call saying, um, you have a Lego YouTube channel. And my heart just stopped and I was like, it is out, it is out. And I think at the time I just passed like 1K and I was like, how have they found it? It's a reasonably small channel, you know, on YouTube, but they did. My subscriber count went up by like 50 and then went up by like 100 by that, by the end of the two days. Because then it wasn't just my past that found out, no. Um, Everyone in the school found out, and that's about, like, 400-odd people, so if oh. not more. So that was intimidating. I have a very um, similar situation to that, but, y yeah, I'll, may maybe I'll discuss it. I don't know if I'm ready to discuss that yet. That's the thing I discussed in, like, five, ten years down the road. <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. I'm still coming off of it, I guess, but... Yeah. I, I haven't had it, like, most people, Ryan, from what I understand, like, most people don't care. Um, mm -hmm. now, now here's the thing. Here, here's kind of how I look at it. I'm waiting for the 100,000 subscriber thing. 
then I get to yeah. so like be like, okay, here's a silver play button. I got a play button, guys. Here's a silver and then, like... play button. None of you all knew. It's hysterical. And I'm 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 gonna yes. be okay with that. I I find I find that um I would find that very amusing. So so, so yeah. like like my like my senior year. I'm like uh, yeah, I, that that'd be very funny. I I I I find that very funny. Um, <laughs> but but beyond that, so so I want to hear about this trading thing. So so, okay. so he trades well, Lego with people in his school, uh, and, and hmm. get some good deals. I want to hear some of these deals too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> should I keep my secrets to myself though? Should I keep my secrets to myself? Nobody in your school well, is going to. It's only your school, so so no. Reveal all. Yeah, that. tell all secrets. This is going to be the fun. Okay. Part. Okay. Well, let's be clear. Only dedicated Lego Brit or Republic Studs fans are watching this far into the podcast, so I don't think I'm going to be that worried. Um, I don't think so. I think we got a lot of non-dedicated Republic Studs fans here. Well, okay then. Comment okay, let me know below. in the comments. Are you a not dedicated fan to either of us, but you're still watching? Yeah, put the timestamp of this to prove that you were actually at this point. So that's good. Um, right, minifigure trading. So I originally started with my neighbor. And I just had some loose minifigs, and I was like, I sent him a message on WhatsApp. I was like, just out of interest, do you have any minifigs that you want to trade for it? Because I'd seen that kind of going around on YouTube, not to the extent that I do it now, which is buying minifigs to trade and just trading them. Uh, and I remember getting some decently good deals. My neighbor discovered Bricklink, and that was the end of that, because he realized uh, maybe the minifigs of the value that he was giving me weren't quite the value that I was giving him. So... My trading with my neighbor kind of stopped when he discovered Bricklink and was like, this is a $40 minifigure. <laughs> he's, he's like, you were scamming me this whole time. Well, um, that's, that's the way. way. I look back to like when I was a kid and I did trading with my friends. Sometimes I lost out, but other times, man, did I get a good deal. Like, like there were, you know the Ahsoka hair people? Yes. So like they did that, but for Shocky. Now my friend wanted to make Ahsoka from Rebels. Mm -hmm. uh, and he really wanted the hairpiece. So he gave me like, a handful of clones, a bunch of other stuff. I gave him the hairpiece. So granted, I lost the shock key figure effectively. I still have the head and torso to this day. Uh, I just don't have the hairpiece. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I got some cool clone troopers and, and like and like maybe a, not, a like an, a, a droid. Or also something. one hairpiece. Um, a headpiece. Um, like, yeah. like the head tails. You can probably hear the dogs in the background. Oh, that's, all right. That's fine. Uh, you okay. can probably hear I, I, like Frank Sinatra as Darth Vader over there. Look at this. Look at this. There he is. You probably hear him. Uh, He's singing or something. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, you don't see so, it. Oh, right. You did yeah. it in camera. All right. Minifigure trading. So I started that, and then I people found out about my YouTube channel. There I was at school. Uh, and originally, I remember walking. So basically, I was. Uh, I have uh, anxiety. I don't know whether. I just think I spoke about it a little bit on my YouTube channel, but. Uh, when I had, I was really anxious coming out of COVID, so I didn't actually go back to school for, uh, yeah, a good few months because I was kind of terrified of COVID. Um, I didn't want my grandparents to get it. So I went back to school. Bear in mind, I was in lockdown while everyone else wasn't, so they all discovered my YouTube channel without me being there to say anything. So I turn up out of the blue in my mask, social distancing 10 meters away from everyone because I'm scared, and, I, and, I, and they wait, all go, how, do, how, how, much is a, how, how much is a, wait, wait, real quick. Sorry, how much is a meter in in British? Because like a meter is like, like your ten. Like, meters. A uh, meter is like I'm pretty sure like like. Well, meters. I was exaggerating. You know, I was exaggerating. It's probably about three, four. Five. Okay. That was at the time. At the time. I'm like ten meters. Um, it's like you're at the other end of the building. Yes. Hi guys. Um. So oh, yeah. That, the leg over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm sorry. So they, what were you saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they were like, the Lego Brim. Oh no, I'm really in for it now. You know, I've got a channel with a thousand subscribers. I think it's very cute. Uh, but actually, the vast majority of people liked it and uh, or didn't care. And I think, like, it's news for one day, maybe a second, and then it died down. And that's just kind of how it is. However, the good thing is, I met a bunch of people that do Lego, particularly the younger year groups that aren't my year, that would probably be the equivalent of mid middle school uh, in America, because uh, we have them all together. And they're like, um, hey, Lego Brad, I've got, I've got this Lego figure, and I'll DM you pictures. So let me go through some of the trades that I've got. I guess that's what you're wanting to hear. I, I, yeah, I mean, we could do that. I, 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 just, I just, I guess I, I'd, I'd want to hit on, like, most people yeah. don't care. Like, I, a lot of people think they care. Most people don't. But it's also, mm -hmm. like, like, for me, it's like, yes, most people don't care. I, I don't really care. 
but I also really don't feel like I need people to know. Like that's just yeah. something I don't need them to know. Like at the same time, it's not, it's kind of that thing. So I like, I get what you're saying. Like you don't you don't want people to know, but like hey, hey mo- that that's the thing. Like vast majority of people, they're too busy worried about themselves. Yeah. So trades. Let me think. Uh, so what did I trade for? I've got to try and think now. Okay. So you know the where is it? Um, I'm trying to find it on my feet now. Uh, I've forgotten. I've forgotten where it goes. Give me a. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure if you can see that uh, mini figure there. Move it over to the right. O- there we go. Oh, that is a terrible mini figure. Yes. Um. So that and I believe. Oh, I'm trying to remember what it was. That and another mini figure that I really didn't care about. It might have been a stormtrooper or something. Um. I traded that off for. Lando Calrissian from episode 9, and Bulio from episode 9. Bulio! <laughs> Bulio so and Claude I was very are the best with things that. to come out of the sequel trilogy. No cap. Mm, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I traded... Are you an anti-Claude fan? No, I, I, I don't have a problem. Okay, this is one that I need to ship out, because I've started doing trades on a scale that I can actually... Oh, I'll lean out the camera. Yeah. I've started doing... I, I started I'm doing trades on a scale where I post to other people. I try and give people a fair deal. So I gave someone this Onaconda Far minifigure. I have him. He's epic. And a Ooh. Praetorian Guard polybag. Ooh. Wow, how much money yeah, did So that was... The, the, and what I traded that for was um, the Hoth Snow Chew- Hoth Snowy Chewbacca from the new ATST. I didn't have because I don't want the ATST. Just for one figure. Just... Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm still going. Oh. Uh, the ATST pilot, also from the ATST, and then Christmas Darth Vader. Um, Which from... one? 2014 or 2020? The Strider 2020. One? Oh, that's not that's not a bad deal. And if you just do like with shipping, it would be easier to just buy it. But... Shipping's a pound. Oh yeah, which right. Is a you lot. guys have like crazy cheap shipping though, right? Mm, well, it, we have a good postal service. But, like, nothing's crazy cheap. Like, people, I'm not going to get into economics and all this, but um, yeah. I hear everyone complaining in the US about the dollar and the rate of the dollar. The pound is coming close to being worth a dollar at the moment. And that's how, like, it is, it's rate rising faster here. Inflation is faster here than it is there. And a lot of people don't realize that. Well, I mean, a pound ours is, is deflating. The, the dollar. Yeah, a pound so used to be we're worth. Just, we're getting close because ours is deflating. <laughs> yeah, a pound used to be worth three dollars, and we're down to one. So that's why Lego prices are crazy but, here like, as well. Lego prices so. are insane. And I think you might have actually, uh, I, I, you, you might have actually changed the price of a Lego set. Yes. In the United yes. Kingdom, Let's like Lego up. Brit changed the Lego company's decision. That that's going to be the title or something. Meet the man who changed the Lego. Forever. Yeah, well, I, you could do that. That's a good. That's a good idea. So I did. I, well, I firmly believe that I did, but obviously I can never prove it. I don't know if it was a firm amount of people. I'm not one to kind of say, "Oh, I'll boast that I 100 percent did it," because I'm not that kind of that type of person. Um, but this is what I think happened. The man who made the Lego secret. That's going to be the title. I was thinking about it. Yeah, there we go. Um, so the use, especially with trades as well, it makes Lego cheaper as well. So that that works. That works. Let's go in. Okay, so. UCS 8080 came out. It was what's the price of that in? It was 800 American. I think it was 750 European. No, it was. It was. Uh, yes. No, you're right. You're right. You are yeah, right. I remember watching I think, your video on that. Yeah, I want to say it was 750. If I, if I, <laughs> if you, if you just talk for a minute, I'll actually get out my video so I can just okay. rewatch it. Remind myself what the Brit price is. Watching a Lego Brit video. While we're interviewing the Lego Brit, okay, on a podcast <laughs> about yeah, the well, Lego Brit. Um, but have you done minifigure trades? You talk about your minifigure. Have trades. I done minifigure trades? When I was like a kid, yeah. I mean, okay. Well, we're getting into a sad story. So, a camp I went to for pretty much my whole childhood, from when I was four until about a year or two ago, um, they recently yeah. tore it down. It was very sad. There are pictures all over. It's very sad. I actually, someone recently um, wrote me an Instagram. Like, did you go to, like, like this camp? I'm like, yeah. Like, like because he, he remembered me. And I was like, yeah. whoa. 
if you, and you said, oh, apparently, so we, so I did Lego trade there, and this was, this was, this was, I, I ran a business, and this was my mm-hmm. first business, and it was a terrible business model. So All I was right. going to sell minifigures anywhere from one to three dollars, and you're not allowed to sell things, but, but I, I kind of did, I felt like a, a freaking, like, dealer of sorts so half of the figures that i would sell and i haven't told this story but it's a funny story half the figures i stole i sold were like real minifigures and the other half were like knockoffs so like, i'd sell knockoff minifigures for like a couple dollars which you know bring in the money uh and, and then some i did sell a real i remember so i sold an ala secura the clone wars version i sold that for a dollar which oh l- little did I learn when I went on YouTube? Oh wow, that's a fifteen dollar minifigure, one of the most expensive minifigures. Remember, this was back in two thousand and like yeah fourteen, fifteen, and one of the most expensive figures at the time was Ala Secura because there was no new Ala Secura. People wanted her. She's not mm-hmm. that expensive now. The Clone Wars version, I don't think. Um, yeah, but but yeah, I, I sold some clones. I wasn't a big Clone Wars fan at the time, so it wasn't you know as exciting to me. So I lost some money on those, obviously, especially now. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 again, also sold knockoffs. I ended up making about forty, fifty dollars. I just had that on cash for a couple months. Um, yeah. And what did I spend it on? I don't know. I spent it on something. Oh, I, know, sir. I, I probably spent. I don't actually think I spent it on Lego. I, I would just reach in. I, I had hit it. I had a like a container full of like stuffed animals, and I just mm-hmm. hid it in there. I, if my mom's watching, this is the first time she's finding out about this. So. Oh. Sorry. sorry oh, mom. I see. <laughs> I was like <laughs> seven, though. So okay. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get in trouble. What? Um. But, but yes, yeah, okay. The camp's destroyed, so they can't come after me for my breaking the rules. All right. So, 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 so that that is my trading story. Uh, first time on the right coach channel, and I, I see. I, I love it. Yeah. I remember selling a I, rocket I, raccoon. Actually, I, I had a rocket raccoon. I got it in a oh. really like rich purchase poly bag. I'm like, like oh. Two bucks off of it, and I didn't even watch Mom's Reaction. I was like hanging out with this weird raccoon guy. All right, yeah. so, so let's hear what you had to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I think you got sidetracked. That's all right. So, um, yes, I, I looked it up. I can't, I can't pinpoint the price itself. I want to say it was seven hundred and fifty pounds, which is not equal to eight hundred dollars. Now, today's money with the wonderful inflation probably be worth actually quite fair price for us in the UK. Um, as much as I am to complain, but back then, back before inflation had the world in its grip, uh, £750 was not worth $800. I remember getting in touch with Lego and I was basically saying, look, what are you doing? You know, it's not fair that we are having to pay this inflated price. And I complained to Lego Custom Service and I think they gave me a, like, £20 voucher or something. Really? They were just like, What what was your response to the email? And you didn't even buy the set though, did you? No. And they just sent you a twenty dollar like they just sent you twenty bucks. Like, listen, we're sorry. T- take the twenty bucks. Yeah, basically, it was like shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's happened multiple times with Lego customer service though. Like the other, How like you file a complaint. So, Are you like a so, like, like a like a Lego Karen? So the last time they I filed one was um there was I love Lego. Don't get me wrong. But there was the, um, what do you call it, uh, Obi-Wan Starfighter, and they listed it for £25, and then about a day later, they raised it by 5 to make it 30 uh, and it's, is it 30 USD or 40 um, USD? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, they'd raised the price by £5 randomly, and they hadn't announced any price increase. This is before they announced price increase. So I kind of emailed Lego customer service and said, Do you I email them every order. time they make a price problem? Yes. Or have you just done it because uh, they send you money for it every time you do it? But they don't let you if you're under 18. So my favorite story is pretending to be my dad. I was going to pre-order this for my son. I'm my dad. <laughs> Basically, yeah, my, I use my dad's name. Um, oh, yeah, if he's watching, then I'm going to be down to fraud. So, whoops. Uh, so, I yeah, I use that. Dad. And they gave me five uh, five pounds for that, just to lower the price. So, They're yeah. like, listen, we're sorry. We didn't mean yeah, to take yeah. the five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the UCS 8080, that was obviously the big one. And I complained to them, and nothing really changed. I was, you know, a little bit like, oh, I got, you know, I got my $20. That's, that's not bad at all. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, you know, I've, I, I left that situation feeling like I'd handled it quite well. Like, I'd successfully... Did, did they say, like, we will try to adjust this in the email? 
Uh, they said, look, we will pass it, there is that word, but we will pass it on to the appropriate teams. Thank you for your feedback, and we will send this directly on to the pricing committee. So I was like, And then they changed Great. it, right? And they changed it. Yeah. Two days later, uh, Lego came out and said, we realised that the UCS 8080 was not a correct price for our UK consumers. It will be down to 700 on par with the Millennium Falcon. Um, that's right, because they're both yeah, now they're 700. Yeah, the, the same here. Uh, realistically, yes. that one should be, I, I think that one should be cheaper than the Falcon. But I do yeah. get Honestly, it's an extra. I I thought seven fifty was an appropriate number, but I know with this one they had to do a lot more engineering with regards mm. to the legs, like insane engineering. And I, to be honest, I think the legs still kind of suck. I've had problems with them, um. But it's about as good. Well, as you're lucky. Have to have problems with them. I don't. I can't afford this, people. <laughs> <laughs> you can afford to have the problem, but you know that's what they say: more money, more problems. So true. Um. True. So I, I'd say you probably had at least a very sizable role in, in like you said, writing an email. Yeah, definitely. Uh, being I being I the, the, the Lego Karen writing this complaint to customer service that worked out. No, no. To be fair, I've learned to know well, you've now. Told me which... You've written two so far. Are there any more that are unaccounted for? Well, I did a video where they sent me the Resistance Juniors X-Wing for free after I complained about an instruction manual, so... <laughs> <laughs> they, just, wait, they just sent you the Junior... Why did they do that? Well, because they were like, we're really sorry, so... Did you write them an yeah. email, like... Yeah, I sent them an email. I think there was an issue with an instruction manual or something. I can't remember quite like, what, what was it was. What was the issue? Have they sent you a, like, $20 Lego set? Yeah, they, they were just like, hey, have a resistance... They probably have that many left in the store. Oh, yeah, That's probably how poorly them. they sell. Did you write to your it's store? Did cheaper. you write to... Is that... Just Lego Custom Service. Oh. Oh, so it's probably we're it's revealing how to get them. loads of free Lego. Just complain to Lego. That's I don't well, like that. I, I don't agree with that strategy, guys. Don't don't do that. Don't don't. I don't that. agree with that strategy. Okay. Well, so far you've gotten <laughs> a twenty dollar voucher about the AT AT. So any all you really have to do is watch my videos whenever I'm critical of Lego and say something, and then just write them an email. Like I don't like. Copy and paste the description, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Lego customer service email in the description. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. I think I could do that. And then after every complaint I have, I just have a honestly. You see, I don't want to be mean to the customer service people. That's me. No, the customer that's the service thing. people are nice. Lego has the best customer service I believe they do. on they the do. planet. Like I have not they met do. any company with better customer service than Lego. They honestly are brilliant, uh, and, Don't abuse like, it. the thing is, I have had experiences before where I've had genuine, all of these problems, by the way, have been genuine. I've never made a problem up, you know, they've all been genuine issues, uh, that I've taken to customer service. Um, and, you know, sometimes they'll just say, thank you, we'll pass this feedback on, and just have a great day. And I'm not gonna be like, give me free stuff, you know, I, I'm just like, thank you, have a great day, and I just move on. Um, uh, but they do have the best customer service, really, ever. Uh, the fact that they're so, they're also very quick to respond. Like some companies you've got to be on the phone to for hours. Oh, don't uh, go to the chat on Lego customer service, uh, lego.com, sorry, and go to their customer service chat. They'll be with you in five minutes. Yeah, I, I, I have, I, I, the only times I ever have problems, honestly, like are with Walmart, where, like, 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 like the, the basic customer service problems that I got, where I'm an annoying person, shipping. Because I need to have, like, like, so this was a big thing with the Republic fighter tank. I ordered mm -hmm. really, really fast shipping for that. It was coming from Mexico. For those who don't remember, I got that a month early. Yes, I, I remember that. I was almost certain to get a first review out. But then <laughs> it got de decided to get stuck in the middle of effing Ohio. Yeah. And Why, what happened? I was pissed. Because I took the day off of school getting prepared for that. Because I knew I'd have the first review up on YouTube of it. And I thought that was a big deal. Do parents I, allow you to take the day off? I, I only get one day off a semester. You, you are Maybe allowed two. to do that. It, it, I, I, I'm allowed. They allow me one day off a semester. So. What the school? No, not the school. I just take off one day a semester. I need to start doing this. Well, I've been missing well, out. I, I, I guess I'm like, you're something. doing well. Then what's the day? But um, that's yeah. kind of my logic. Um, so, so I, I take off for this. This is the big event. It gets lost in the middle. Of, it, it gets stuck in the middle of Cincinnati. Turns out I don't get the first review out. Wait the next day. It comes. I, I have to go, you know, into school the next day. It, comes it must have been pretty gutting. And then it's there. And then it's, it's home. So then I go do my review, everything. I get pissy with customer service when the shipping stuff isn't there on time. So I'll, like, call, like, um, where's my package? And usually it works. They'll, like, push it, bump it forward to make sure it gets yeah. there faster. 
um, with custom because they know like you know and I, and again like the amount of money I would have made marginally compared to if I got it the first review. It's not even the money; it's the exposure. I want to be known as the guy who did it first. It's more of a reputation thing. Um, yeah. So, so like the guy who did the first advent calendar review and no one credited him. Can you imagine that? Well, maybe like, it's wait. because most people weren't that excited about the advent calendar. Yeah, but like, there's hang, nothing on, to hang on, hang on, I've got, a, I remember now, Brick Fanatics probably does not remember this, but you know who they are, right? I yes. assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I put out the advent calendar review uh, in like mid-August and it wasn't going to come out until September. And I was really, really happy. I was like, Bro, I just got my first YouTube Lego Star Wars set review. This is crazy. And then, and then I was wondering, like, why is no one seeing this? And then Ashton Flash put out his Advent Calendar review about three weeks later. The video had done pretty well. That's Ashton. And uh, yeah. Ashton Flash put that put his video out. He was the second person yeah, to review it. He has a Lego Brick and Fanatic network, so yeah. that helps. Brick, yeah, Brick Fanatics put out an uh, article saying, Ashton Flash becomes first Lego YouTuber to review Advent Calendar. I was so mad. I went, on, email? I went on. No, I, I <laughs> went on to my parents' email. Uh, oh yeah, I did probably. Oh uh, my god. I went on to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, well, right. I was. Can you imagine for me? Because I was. I was. I still am a small little creator, but I was even smaller then, and I was really thinking this is my biggest achievement, and I want to be credited for it. And I don't think I was in the wrong to comment new, mul multiple times on different accounts on Brickmatic's website. The Lego Bridge here first. That's probably my, my 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 most shameful moment as a Lego YouTuber switching yeah. account just for the bridge first. Yeah. I'm gonna rant for a minute. So over the last couple of months, I have been consecutively releasing some great information. Not only have I been covering some, some special pictures that people hadn't seen before, I also happen to um rumor the greatest Lego Star Wars set of the year, possibly of all time, with possibly one of the coolest minifigures ever. Uh, and I still, to this day, am getting... <laughs> I, I get, like, marginal credit. Like, so I, I thank you to the people who do. But, like, everyone just ignored the fact that, like, I've rumored this. And, like, like back in April, I was talking about a UCS Razor set. Everyone saying, you're full of crap, we don't believe you, and then all of a sudden... They go to Lego Con with the little Razor Crest on their shirt, and it's like, wow, we're getting a Razor Crest. Who would have thought of that? Like, yeah, I, 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 I have been right on several things. The only thing I did get wrong, uh, because I checked with people on this, I checked with a lot of people in the rumor community before I put out anything. The only thing I got wrong was Kamen Owens being in the Justifier. I guess that was supposed to happen, and it didn't pan oh, I out. I put Amiga out. I put Amiga out, and... And literally no one got to deny it. I was so because sad. Because that was a given. I could have done that. I knew that. Um, well, why didn't you do that? Because Great bricks messy. I was, said, because I was waiting for more information. Uh, because I don't, I don't like to put everything out until I have it 100% down, pretty much. The thing with the ATTE, the only problem I have with that rumor, I didn't have... Is it Obi-Wan was going to be here? Um, yes, Obi-Wan. Because my, my, my guy, he, he had um, like a handful of new Obi-Wans released. So we were trying to figure out what figures go in what sets. Um, oh, you actually saw the figures? No. Um, no, but but we know that there were going to be, like, a set amount of Obi-Wans. Uh, so uh, okay. They, but the thing is, they kept some of they kept. I, I believe it was the Vader versus Obi-Wan duel. We just completely yeah, that was very under wraps. Vader. So they have an Obi-Wan in the Scythe. They have one in the Starfighter. They have one in the duel. Um, and I guess that's there's it. a Brickhead with one, but that doesn't really count. Um, so, so there were, like, three of them. Um, and, and I just assumed, uh, since I wasn't thinking Obi-Wan versus Vader duel, because, like, that was kind of, like, that was, like, a thrown out there, but that wasn't, like, a name mm -hmm. list. Um, so I'm like, okay, so this is probably gonna be ATT, that makes sense, it's coming with Cody, it's coming with two 12 troopers, why wouldn't Obi-Wan be in there? And it kind of still baffles yeah. me, we haven't gotten an ATT since 2002 that hasn't come with any Jedi. The yeah, but this is tank great the Jedi. It came in Mace Windu, so it kind of felt like a foregone conclusion that Obi-Wan would have been in it. Yeah. Turns out he isn't in it, which is kind of more of a shocker. Um, but yeah, like, I put that out. Like, they got like 35, 40,000 views, which is nice. Um, and, and, and like, which here, is nice. I put, I put this out now. And I put this out mm -hmm. now. I put out the 212 
battle pack or not. Is that a big thing that is coming out? I don't know, and it's best that I do not know what form of pack it is. We know it's been discussed that that is going to be a thing that happens. I don't know if it's going to be a minifigure pack, a battle pack. To or me, I, I don't know what I gathered from that video, but what I gathered from the video, it was a theory. That's kind of how you presented it. It wasn't a theory. I was putting it as a grain of salt. Like, this is what I've heard. Um, yeah. But but it's it's not a theory. It, it, it's it's uh, it's it's a it's a rumor. Um, it, it, yeah, it is a rumor. Which means you still take it with a grain of salt until basically Promo Bros confirms anything. Um, but like I've confirmed this with people, and you know I've said this publicly, so I'll say it again. I confirmed this with Falcon Fan fourteen fourteen. Um, so you think that you think that there's like a ninety percent chance that two drop of is coming? It, it was it was discussed. People asked, is there going to be a battle pack regarding around the set? Yes. And it's not that hard to see. It's pretty obvious. You go to last year, yeah, well, you, you see a Dark Trooper set. in Mock Gideon set. Next year we get a Dark Trooper centered set. And and the reason is, they want to be able to make a cheaper way to get Cody. Which, you know, yeah. makes sense. Uh, you, you go but we back didn't to know if there's a $30 one or a... Or, so you think Cody's going to be in it? Yes, which is why I'm skeptical of it being a $20 battle pack. That's why I won't go out and say right away what it is. I don't think they put Cody Yeah, because it makes sense that that would probably be a $30 set. Uh, I'd say it, like makes, it makes more sense as a $30 set. Yeah, I agree. Like like a Dark Trooper attack or... Uh, for, Something like, called, like, Attack on Utapau with a little droid build. I don't build think it would be even and... it, it, could, it could be something bad. I, don't, I really don't... I really don't know. Well, it would definitely be Utapau because they'd be reusing re yes, the Well, it could be Clone Wars. They, they could do Clone Wars. Yes. I mean, yes, but okay. when so, the so, two twelve are my problem. Yeah, I mean, here, so like, I I put this out, like, this is like a thing that has been discussed, uh, and and like, here, I'll, I I wanted to reference one more thing. Back in twenty nineteen, they do the Sith Trooper and Kylo Ren shuttle, but then they do Sith mm -hmm. Trooper pack. It, it, like, this is a common thing. That's not hard to draw. Um, so, so like, it, then people are like, oh wow, a two twelve battle pack. You, you know, that's that might happen next. And then I'm like, sorry. It just, it just bothers me. What would you say? Would you say buying? So basically, I recently bought um two two. So I bought one normal two twelve trooper and one twenty fourteen twenty fourteen uh, and one okay. airborne one. So I bought two of them together, and together it cost seven fifty. Seven dollars and fifty. I don't I don't know what that is in American dollars. Is that, say, well, say that's $8, because okay. it's that close. Say, say it's $8. That's a really that, good deal. That, that, that's a fantastic that deal. They're like $20 a piece here. Um, the 2014 style. The 2014 they style is down still really value. popular. A lot of people don't like this new style. Um, mm. So I think, I honestly think the new 212 Trooper looks really good. Like, I'm, I'm a really big fan of it, actually. Like, I, th I think it looks solid. I like the belt printing. They fixed a lot of the problems. One thing I don't understand, why do they give Cody arm, uh, the, the, the orange arm, but they don't give orange arms to the rest of the 212? I wouldn't, I think they wanted him to stand out, but to make him look more yeah, exclusive. Yeah, but, but they can make him all stand, he stands out just fine to begin with, so mm -hmm. I, I, I don't... I can see why the Lego designers, because they really want him to pop out as, like, the no, exclusive figure. I can the other clones pop out. Like, they, huh? They've had arm printing for all of Lego Star Wars. As long as there have been clones that aren't white. So I don't see the problem there. That Like, just doing blue arms again. All I love Earth Troopers. I think it looks better. But, that, hey, what do I know? I just collect and buy this stuff endlessly. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah. I just bought four the other day. Um, Very very nice set. Well, all right. Oh, yeah, I... Le Lego Brit. Uh, n now, mm -hmm. now that we're, we're, we're coming to an end, I want to hear your, like, your future plans. W what's gonna happen with, with the Lego Bridge YouTube channel? What, what are, like, what's your so? goals? Everything. Give me everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, my dream goal would be 10k by the end of 2022. I'm not entirely confident that that's, that will happen, but I, as make it, it happen. I It'll think, happen. Can you make it happen? I think it's 100% that everyone should push for the goals that they think are impossible at the time. Because if you settle for mediocre, uh, and you settle for, oh yeah, realistically I could do this, it's going to mean that you're not going to push yourself further to the goals. So, subscribe those who are watching this right now, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> so, my goals overall, uh, obviously I'd love to become more mainstream in the community. I, I, that would be ideal. I think you're becoming a lot more mainstream as well, um, yeah. which is very positive to see. And basically, I want to have a similar growth 
uh, and I would like to represent Britain in the Lego community stage. Ultimately, that's it. Uh, and I know we've got people like SW Britain today who are fantastic people. Uh, and he's got his own niche with his, like, customizing well, mock. To be fair, style. you are recognized by the Queen. Yes, so, yes, like, I did get one. I feel like you queen. already have that status. Like, you are the Lego No, player. but, like, like I, am I want Lego people to American. stay in Lego so community. You, you, get and, you, know, you, you get it targeted. So. I, I, I want people to think Lego community, m and Solo Bricks, Holly on Film, Republic Stars, Lego Brit. I want to be up there, and that is, you know, the end of entry goal. I'm kind of, st I'm still getting over the fact that, like, I'm considered up there. <laughs> like, I don't feel well, like Well, I mean, you are nearly at 50, are you at 50k yet? I'm at, like, 40-something. What am I at? I don't know. I don't look that much. You, you will be at 50k in no time. Uh, I hope so. Uh, ooh, my video just went public. Oops. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm at 44. Yeah, I just did one on, on a new NPC. It looks epic. There we go. Look at that. Oh. You know how old this video was. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um. So 10k. That's your goal, guys. Get in there, please. Um. The man yes. who changed Lego's pricing, so everyone can yes, draw sir. their anger. Uh, people are thinking, oh, this is the guy who raised the price. No, he lowered them. No, no, I lowered them. I lowered them, and I will keep campaigning for the end of inflation until the end of time. Yes. Stop, Which will stop the mean that we're paying from printing thousand. money. It'll be epic. Yeah. Right, gold That'd be great. Okay. Lego Br will we'll bring back the gold standard. Let let's make mm -hmm. it happen. All right, guys. Yes. Uh, th thank you, Lego Brick. It was nice talking to you. Did you say Lego Brick? Lego Brick. <laughs> I'll, I'll thank see you on the next one before before this guy yeah. gets out of hand. He's out there often. See you. All right. Well, I think that was really good. I think we bounced off each other very well. It, it, no, it, it felt very natural. Um.